Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe Shoko Vesa from Stone Brewing is the one for you. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And today we are trying Shoko Vesa. Is that right? Yep. Okay. Um, now, I did have some people on other beer reviews say I should go back and review this. Um, I want to say in 2016, Paul and I did this. Okay. But it didn't come out until like the beginning of 2017. Okay. Of this year. Okay. Um, so Jessica bought Is it. Is it still 2017? Well, that was the 2016. When this comes out, will it still be 2017? No, it'll be 2018. Okay, so you did the same thing. Yes. Nice. I get hmm. But, so Jessica found this and wanted to drink it, and I said, oh, good, because there's been multiple people uh, that have said Can I you drink should. Can you drink and talk at the same time? Pour and talk? Yeah. Well, I didn't know. I had never heard of it. I don't, I don't pay attention, I guess, to the beer seen but i read on the back that people campaigned for it it said um there's nothing like making a beer so beloved that people feel compelled to campaign for its return so if it was first brewed in 2014 um with a home brewer after his recipe won their home brew competition um so this is kind of exciting because I don't believe, I don't like any of the stone ones so far. I don't think at all. Brewed with cocoa, coffee, peppers, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Which is like Mexican hot chocolate yep. if you would. Yeah. Right? Yep. Imperial stout inspired by Mexican hot chocolate. Yep. Imperial milk slash sweet stout is what Untap's giving it. 8.1% 50 IBUs. And like Jessica was referring to, this review that we're doing right now is 2017. But it's the 29th but, of December. Yeah, but you guys will see it in 2018 at the beginning sometime. Whenever Brad can get around to getting it out. This was bottled on 10 7 17. Okay, well, let's go, let's go okay. for it. So, uh, chocolate had all small bubbles. That I have about half a finger. Jessica doesn't have any. If we look at it, I do have a amber hue at the bottom. Uh, I would say very dark brown, not black. A stout color is what I would say. Uh, I would say more along the lines of a light stout, okay. not a true stout. Smell? Cinnamon, nutmeg, pepper. Mm. More cinnamon to me than anything. I'm getting pepper. Yeah? Lots of pepper. Okay. Coffee and pepper. See, and that's why you should always try beers for yourself because... You probably don't agree with your wife. <laughs> well, no, because just like that, I get a lot more cinnamon, nutmeg... Then the pepper yeah, is I real get, like, subtle. Pepper, pepper. Yeah. I still gonna, I'm still gonna drink it. Okay, taste. Ooh, that's good. The aftertaste, not so much. And I didn't go back mm. and look what I rated this before. I love me some nutmeg. <laughs> mm. It would seem as if there's too much going on. Yes. <laughs> um, but... Mm. I think the, the cinnamon nutmeg up front... Or to me, in the middle of the palate, going to the back is way too much. And then that pepper comes in, and that cinnamon and that nutmeg is still there, pushing that pepper. And, like, afterwards, it's like I took a spoon of cinnamon, and that's what my mouth tastes like. You got a lot going on in there. Yeah. 
I like the taste of the vanilla and the chocolate. And maybe bitterness. Bitterness in the aftertaste. This is good. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at the lack of pepper taste. Yeah. I Do you get some pepper or... Well, just a little bit. I get it on the end. Yeah, a little bit. But not... Like, my mouth doesn't taste like peppers. Mine tastes like cinnamon nutmeg. I'm sorry, Brad. Like, maybe some bitter chocolate have. mixed. I would go, like I said, I did not look back yet to see what I scored it last time. I would go a three. Okay. I think people should pick this up. I would not drink this again. At all. Okay. Jessica would. <laughs> this is good. And it's good in a way that's vanilla, chocolatey, a little bit of spice, but a little bit of spice in a good way. Do you get vanilla? Yeah, and yeah, as soon you as do? I drink it. That's why I think it okay. it's a little bit spicy of a hot chocolate, and I think that's the idea. Because Mexican hot chocolate is Spicy, but now that I'm burping, I'm getting pepper burps. Maybe I do get some vanilla in there. But. It, so what would you give this one? I'd go four. Four? I liked it. I take that back. I do like a stone brew. <laughs> stone beer. Um, it's, yeah. It's, it smelled, for me, I didn't like the, the smell of it as much. It smelled too peppery. I was a little nervous. But I like the chocolate. The vanilla, and I love cinnamon and nutmeg all day on anything. Um, but I think this one's good. And if this guy won there, I could see why this guy won the contest. His recipe won their home, the homebrew competition. I see why it's good. I don't know if I'll pick up another one. That's too bad for you. You don't like it. It's all right. <laughs> what do the people say? Uh, 11,000 ratings, okay. and this is going by the 2017 version. Which is what this is. Yep, uh, but they have a whole bunch of different okay. kinds. Um, average is a 4.15. Yeah. Uh, five of my friends have rated this for a 4.25. Everybody likes it but Brad. Yeah. <laughs> well, it I, it's good, but... To me, it's it's way too much cinnamon nutmeg. I'm not saying it's bad. Which is it's crazy because just... I don't even get... I'm not getting hit with it. So, yeah, you have to buy it now because Brad no. is tasting things that I am not. And we're drinking out of the same bottle. So... Okay, so I've came up... Two, because in the 2016 version, I gave a one. You don't like it? Imagine that. No. I mean, this is just not for you. You know? I liked it. Definitely not for me. It's okay. See, yeah. and then when Brad doesn't like beer, we clearly just move on. Because no, what do you want to talk, talk about? about. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you want to talk about? Talk about how bad it is? I liked it, and that's. I think that might be the first stone one that I well, like. Well, I'm not getting any alcohol from the 8.1. Yeah, it's not heavy. No. It's um, not roasted malty tasting. It's not as heavy as it should be for a imperial stout. Let I think it's yours. still medium. Let me have yours. While you talk about all the things that you want to talk about, <laughs> you can have mine and pretend like yeah. you drank it. But, yeah, I, I don't... I don't even really get chocolate coffee. Like, I do get some bitterness, and I don't know if that's from the hops, because it is 50 IBUs, but Imperial, you're going to want to up those hops anyway. Okay. Um, so, it's probably from the chocolate, but I don't know. I like that there's not a, high, uh, a strong coffee taste. Right. Now, for peppers, if it would have been more fire, like heat, I think it would have broken up some of that yours tastes need more peppery than mine i think it's the cinnamon it's like the cinnamon nutmeg you got flakes of stuff in yours <laughs> no wonder why i didn't like it what's how come all right well i don't have you have orange flakes at the bottom of yours 
Huh. Don't you even pay attention to what you're drinking? No, I just drink it. Mm. But, yeah, okay. like, even my mouth now, it's like cinnamon nutmeg. Well, That's I would all... like to know if anyone else has had it this year, and I'd like to know if they are on side Jessica or side Brad. No, like, after this comes out, I want to know oh. who's on who is on whose side. Because I liked it. You didn't. That's okay. We're entitled to our likes and dislikes. You have way more likes than I do when it comes to beer anyway. But it's okay. We can move along and do the next one. Yep. Because you seem to be bothered by it. And we don't want to watch you on your phone. I was I, just... Ch- I watched you in your other <laughs> review today and you were on your phone and it was annoying. As Sorry. Viewer. So, moving along. Sorry. So, so that'll wrap like it. <laughs> That'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Have to have it my way. Happy brewing. Thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave me a comment down below to tell me what you thought about this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share. And hit that bell so you know when new videos are coming out. You can check out these videos over here. Also, head over to 31stbrewing.com for everything beer and home brewing related.